What's your best dance move? Okay, so normally I pull out the sprinkler. So just kind of... Yes. You know. My best dance move? I don't... I hate to break it. I can't dance. The Dougie. I don't know. Maybe like a... Like a... Yes. Like that. Or you can do like a... Get it. Get it. Pull it down. Probably the whip and nene or something. Because I'm a terrible dancer. I bust out the sprinkler. Nice. A lot of the... <laughs> You know the typical white people dance moves. Yeah. But. Do you have any dance experience? Um, other than you know, like in the shower, no. I mean, like, no, nah, not really. I just know like the TikTok dances I see all my friends make. I did some like dance classes when I was really young. I took dance when I was ten. No, when I was five to ten years old. Um, so I took it for five years. I actually danced for eleven years, dance? and I did cheer for like six or seven. Do you have any knowledge of ballroom dance? Uh, no. I don't know anything about ballroom dancing. Oh, gosh. Not at all. <laughs> um, no, I know some people who have took classes, and I know they're offered. Yes. You're supposed to have a very rigid frame. Uh, that's about it. I learned about some of them on Dancing with the Stars. I watched Dancing with the Stars. Did you know that UT has its own ballroom dance club? No. No, I did not. I did not know that. I didn't. I didn't know that. Oh, I did not know that. That's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> No, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's super interesting. Do you think it's important for people to have a basic understanding of just general dance moves? Yes, I think it's really important, especially if you like are on a date or like just out. Like it's so important to like know how to dance and it's like in a respectful way. Um, I think it could be helpful if you're at like a nice event or something like that. You would not want to like embarrass yourself. So I feel like it could be a good skill to have. Yes. 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 Yes, it's definitely very important. It's it's just sort of upsetting when you go to the dance floors and nobody has any dance moves. It's just grinding. I think it's a underrated art. I feel like it would be like useful for people to know because I think it's just like fun thing to do with, with friends. It makes it more fun and like I feel like it's a way to expect, express yourself. So I feel like it's important for people to like get to experience that and learn about that. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome back to Vol Talk. I'm your host, Drew Hamlet, and today we're talking to Lucas McBee from the UT Ballroom Club. Lucas, thank you so much for being here. It's nice to be here. Yeah, so can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so uh, I'm from Middle Tennessee, uh, this town called Belbuckle, Tennessee, which is in the southern middle region. And I am a physics and math major, major double major here at UT. Mm -hmm. I do research and I really enjoy all that. Yeah. Exciting. So you're a part of the ballroom club. Can you tell me a little bit about yes. that? Yes. So I'm the vice president of the ballroom dance team at UT. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I, it's, we cover all of the dance sport uh, dances. So the, the nine dance which is like waltz, foxtrot, cha-cha, things like that, tango. Yeah, a lot of the dances you've probably heard of from like Dancing in the Stars and whatnot, yeah. Yeah, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you tell me a little bit about your position as vice president? Yeah, so I, my position very rarely has like very specific things that I need to do and I kind of just become a jack of all trades, just like helping with uh, other people doing other things. So right. like uh, I help organize events, I help uh, like with, with like communications when needs be, so yeah. Right, for sure. And then can you tell me a little bit about those events and do y'all compete? Yeah, so uh, for events, we, we do a lot of events. We'll like on Friday nights, we'll go to uh, like the local dance, uh, the local dance halls here in Knoxville and we'll like uh, dance with them there. Or um, uh, actually next weekend, we're going to Ohio for a competition. It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, that's exciting. How many competitions do you guys usually have in the year? So there's usually, we do about one to two each semester uh, recently, but COVID like took away the ability to do that. So this is the first one that the team's been to in a couple of years. Oh. So I'm, yeah, we're really looking forward to that. Yeah, that's super exciting. And how did you personally get involved with the club? Uh, so there was like, uh, when I had my orientation, they uh, did the thing where they like have all this, um, the, the pop-up tables. Mm -hmm. And I uh, just passed by the one for ballroom dancing. And I, I'd never danced before. <laughs> I thought I had thought I had two left feet. And I talked to them and they were all really cool people. And I was like, oh, I'll give this a try. I fell in love. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> yes, absolutely amazing. And I 
like been working hard, rising through the ranks, all that. It's a, and I, a, lot, a lot of fun. I love it. Right. So that leads into my next question. I'm very curious. So you don't need any dance experience to join? Yeah, no. Very rarely do the people on the team like uh, that join have any dance experience. So like, um, like I didn't have any. The other two off, uh, officers and upper ranking members didn't have any. Like there's a few of the new people this year that have some, but not in ballroom. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Right. I feel like ballroom is also very niche. Yeah, it, it does end up being kind of niche, but there's a lot of crossovers between it and a lot of other dancing. So like usually if you like one kind of dancing, you like the other kind of dancing. Okay. And how many people are on the team? Uh, there's about uh, 12 to 15 members, uh, plus or minus three or two, you know, given like time of the year and whatnot. <laughs> right, so then how do you get involved? Yeah, so uh, you can, uh, what do you mean by that? How do you get involved with the team or just the club in general? Okay, so yeah, so you can like uh, contact us through like our Instagram page or and things like that that we have. It's just, you just look up the ballroom team at UT and we'll pop up, yeah, contact us. We will gladly give you all the information for that. For sure, and then do you have like a favorite story or favorite memory or just your favorite part about the club in general? Um, let's see, my uh, freshman year, so I, I had to work really hard uh, for competitions and I, I, uh, I worked really hard on this one particular dance waltz and I, um, I eventually, like, uh, when we went to the competition, I, I got a blue ribbon. Like, me, me and my friend got a blue <laughs> ribbon, and it was a lot of fun. And also, uh, I, I'm, in a, I'm one of the instructors now, so I, I do part of the, like, ballroom instruction. And I, I, I had a lot of fun teaching just the other day. <laughs> they were getting this really hard dance, and it made me so happy. I was, like, screaming with joy. <laughs> oh, that is so exciting. Yes. That sounds like a great time. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Lucas, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, of course. I'm your host, Drew Hamlet, and we'll see you next week on Ball Talk. Surprise! We're back. Our Ball on the Street host, Maywin and Lucas, are going to be demonstrating the American Rumba for us today. Thank you both for that lovely demonstration and here is our final goodbye and we'll see you next week.